Hello, welcome to Tutorial Made Simple channel. In this video, we will install our REST API script in a hosting server in the internet. We need to have a hosting that at least support PHP and MySQL. There are several free hosting, but let's try 000webhost.com. There are a few options here, you may choose any of these options for our test purposes. I already signed up for a free web hosting. So to start, I just click sign in button, but if you have not registered yet, you may need to click free sign up first and verify your account. It should be very straightforward. You can just click sign up here. Once you log in, you will be in this page. Then click Manage Website. This will take us to a dashboard page where we can manage our website. I already in the dashboard. Next, let's upload our script. To download the script, please check the information in the description of this video. Let's upload the file by click File Manager and then click Upload File. We have to put the file inside the public HTML, so click the folder. Next click the upload icon at the top right of the page. Then select the file. Let's try to upload the zip file which contained the REST API scripts. Let's extract it in the current location. As instructed, if we will extract it in the current location, we should define a dot in here. But it's come up with an error. I'm not sure why, however, I already follow the instruction. Let's do it another way, since we have only one folder and four files. We can create the folder manually and upload the files to the respective folder. First, create the folder name CRUD API. Then go inside the folder, and then upload the file, picrud.php. Next, create a folder, name it, config. Go inside the config folder and upload the rest three files.
Next we need to edit the server information such as database name, DB username, and the password. These info are stored in the file named config.php. These setup need to match with our setup in the server. So next, we need to create the MySkull database. Go back to the dashboard and click the Database Manager menu. I already have one database created. In your case you may need to create one new database. We will need the DB name, DB user, DB host and the password for our application. So you may need to copy or write down these information as we need to put these info into the config file. Just do copy and paste like this, and please check and ensure the copied info are correct, especially the password. I will change the password and copy it to config file. Press Ctrl C in the keyboard and click change. Please ensure you got this confirmation message. I am opening the config file and paste the password. Don't forget to click save. Next we will upload our database. Please check the description of this video to get the source code. To create the database, we need to use phpMyAdmin. To do this, click manage and select phpMyAdmin. To log into phpMyAdmin, we need to use the username of the database and the password that were obtained during creating the database. You should have keep the password in the save place, or you can check it in the config file. We should not use this change password menu as it will change the current database password to a new password. But if you do, you may need to edit the password in the config file accordingly. Now, I managed to get into PHP, my admin. In my current database, I have some tables already from my previous test. In your case, this database should be empty as it is a new database. So I will delete these table first. Okay, so the database is now empty. Next, let's upload our Skull database file. Click Import.
To upload, select the file. Once the file uploaded, then click Go button. We have no error and successfully create the tables. Let's do a simple test. Checking if the root access link of the API in our Android application in line with our setup in this server. Oh no, there is an error. We missed the editorial folder. This can be fixed in the server side, but by creating a it tutorial folder and move the files accordingly. Or you can just simply delete the word it tutorial in the application API root definition. I will adjust the folder on the server accordingly just to make consistent with my setup in the localhost. But if you prefer to edit the link in the application, please do so, it will work too. I will create a new folder and name it Editorial and then move all the files inside the new folder. Let's test it again. It looks good. We get some responses without any errors. This means it can access the database. The command needs some parameters that were not included in our command test. So we got such responses. At least we know that the database connection is working. You may use applications such as Postman to further test our script. Let's test our application. Change this to access the database and web host. Let's run our application. Just select Windows platform for this test. We can see the data is updated correctly.
It works as expected. Thank you for watching. See you in our next video. We really appreciate everyone who has subscribed to this channel and liked this video. It really helps us.